in the name of God. Welcome to my lecture on 2021 International Conference on Computer and Knowledge Engineering, Paradise University of Mashhad. I want to have a presentation in my paper. The title is An Intelligent Linguistic Error Detection Approach to Automated Diagnosis of Dyslexia Disorder in Patient Speaking Children. I am Fatima Asghari, the presenter, and others are Fatima Asghari, Mrs. Mahsa Khorasani, Dr. Mohsen Kahani, Dr. Zaid Amir Amiyazi, and Mr. Mahdi Akhodi Khalinui. Thank you for being with me until the end of the lecture. At the first step, I should tell you about the definition of dyslexia. In the world, three types of learning disability are exist and uh, they are dyslexia, dysgraphia, and dyscalculia. Dyscalculia is related to handwriting weakness and dyscalculia is related to mathematical weakness. But in this research, we focus on dyslexia. Dyslexia is a learning disability in which a child with a normal IQ has difficulties with reading. Each of these difficulties is linked to a certain type of weakness, such as visual memory impairment, auditory sensitivity impairment, attention, and so on. So it has to talk about the importance of early diagnosis and the impact of it on children's life. As mentioned before, at least 80% of people affected by dyslexia and 10% of population suffer from that. Late diagnosis leads to educational failure and even failure of individuals in the earlier stage of education. The complexity of manual diagnostic tools, lengthy manual examination, the high cost of referral to a specialist, and the parents' ignorance of the existence of this disorder in their child clearly show the necessity and importance of using computerized automatic diagnostic methods. The use of the intelligent methods and computer tools for screening disorders can also make the diagnosis process more comprehensive on a larger geographical scale. The importance of this issue is the in the recent period of the epidemic of COVID-19 is even more apparent. In addition, there are some other shortcomings in a specialist diagnosis, in clinical methods of diagnosis, in dyslexia, spelling and typographical errors in the linguistic and textual samples of these people are identified manually by an expert. Since while reading, the human brain automatically corrects some spelling mistakes, there is a possibility of occurring diagnostic errors in manual and human methods. Therefore, design and use of automated methods for detecting linguistic errors is recommended in order to increase the accuracy and the speed of the diagnosis process, which is practically medical decision support systems. Let's have a brief regard to previous issues in automatic detection, detection of learning disabilities. They include a smart learning standardized tests using computer games, examining brain signals, tracking eye movements, and examining active memory profiles. No research has been conduct conducted yet, and the automatic identification and analysis of the linguistic characteristics of patient-speaking children for automation of the dyslexia diagnosis process. Now it's time to describe the objective of make intelligent detection system. The aim of this study is to identify and automatically extract differential linguistic features from language samples of children with dyslexia, and to build a model to create an automated diagnostic assistance system to diagnose this disorder in patient speaking children. At all, the process can be done with measuring ability of morphological processing in children with dyslexia. Measuring the grammatical features consists of productivity index, lexical diversity, grammatical errors such as targets, the correspondence between verb and subject, and grammar complexity. As mentioned before, one type of grammatical features are grammatical errors and the detection process of that is called linguistic error detection. Some kind of methods that can do grammatical error recognition are syntax-based, statistical-based such as engram-based methods and dictionaries, corpus-based, rule-based, machine learning-based, and hybrid methods. Now it's time to explain the purpose method. Diagnosis dyslexia disorder in patient-speaking children consists of three main steps. First step is Collecting linguistic samples from patient-speaking children, the next one is extract and assess the differential language characteristics of dyslexia, and the last one is training a machine learning-based classification model. The purpose framework is shown here. As you see in the picture, first step is collecting language samples of dyslexia consists of retelling. Then there is the transcription step, and the next one is pre-processing text samples 
Then feature extraction and the last step is train and building machine learning models to screen dyslexic children. In data collection phase, 29 children with dyslexia who were diagnosed through expert labeling based on the Wexler test were chosen from Bolland Screening and Treatment Center for Dyslexia. 25 children without dyslexia ranging in age from 8 to 11 years old in a school in Mashhad was chosen by reviewed the orthographic text samples and of those children of these children by a specialist psychologist. The next step of purpose methods is uh, linguistic feature extraction, include detection, uh, detecting spelling errors, determine the type of weakness related to dyslexia, detecting grammatical errors, and calculation of other linguistic features like lexical diversity, productivity index, and so on. In the spelling error detection, the first step is create appropriate dictionary which is comprehensive and useful enough. This was made with merging Wikipedia, Hamshadi, Moin dictionary as well as dictionaries prepared in the LILAC project and we added a plugin after detecting spelling errors that can suggest the set of correct spelling words related to the misspelled word finding all things within an edit distance from a large, a large list of strings then uh, with comparing two words based on cement table, the system can determine the related weakness to dyslexia. As you see in the picture, all the steps are obvious. In the grammatical error detection steps, different methods were tested which is beyond the scope of this lecture. So let me talk about the final methods that reach fine result and grammar error detection. As you know, in machine learning methods, we need a large set of data to train on this. Persian is one of the under resourced languages that faces lack of data. So one method to contrast with this problem is data augmentation. That in this special time is called, uh, domain is called error injection. For this work, the syntactic error injection based on syntactic rules of work in sentences was done which uh, used dependency or parser model to determine the morphological rules of work. Uh, we tested the dependency parser of has parser and parser your libraries and then finally uh, the has library was chosen. After creation of appropriate data set, the chosen deep learning model was trained on data and classification model to detect uh, grammatical errors was built. The bio model is used for this classification problems and the metric evaluation are shown in this slide. As you see, the model reached good result on common evaluation metrics include precision recall and a fun score. After that, the system calculate other linguistic features based on the definition and formula. Lexical diversity is the ratio of distinct unique word stems to the total number of words. Um, it means uh, the ratio of types to tokens. And the next one, uh, readability index calculation based on uh, the readability formula and uh, grammatical complexity index based on um, incidence of function words such as preposition, pronouns, conjunction, and determinants, and incidence of content words such as nouns, adverbs, verbs, and adjectives. Finally, training six different classification methods like knife base, multilayer perceptual neural network, con nearest neighbor, decision theory, suffered vector machine, and logistic regression. Final results are shown, are shown here. As you can see, two algorithms, namely multilayer perceptron and decision tree, are reached uh, the highest results among the others. And these are references. Finally, thanks uh, for your attention.